Now we're going to take a look at a major seventh chord. Now the reason we call it the major seventh, in the scale, you can either do one, two, three, four, five, six, and I said major seven, eight, or that blues, one, two, three, four, five, six, flatted seven, eight. The major chord has a distinct sound. It goes. Now we're going to start by learning what is added to that triad because we have our basic one, three, five, and the major seventh. Look, it's right next to that one or the tonic as we call it. That is the root of this chord C. The tonic one or root three, five, and there is the major seven because it's in the scale and it's right next to the eight. Those are the notes. Let's learn them in this position, see them in every key, but then I'm going to show you one of the pro tips to make it sound great. Here is a C major seventh chord containing all the notes one, three, five, and major seven. Let's move it up to D. One, two, three, four, five, six, major seven, eight. Let's look at the one, the three, the five. You remember that from one of our other exercises? And right next to the eight is the major seven. So we're going to add that. Let's take a look at E. One, two, three, four, five, six, major seven. Look, it's right next to the E and eight. One, three, five, major seven. All the notes of the E major seven. Let's take a look at F. One, two, three, four, five, six, major seven, right next to the F again. So one, three, five, and there it is. There's an F major seven full sound. Here is G. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's the major seven, right next to the one again. One, three, five, major seven chord. Sounds like that, looks like that. Here's the A. One, two, three, four, five, six, major seven, right next to the A. One, three, five, we recognize our triad, and there is the major seven. Here is the B, one, two, three, four, five, six, major seven, eight. It's going to be right next to there. One, three, five, major seven. B sounds like that. And here's C again, one, three, five. Right next to the C is its major seven. But let's get a pro tip going for ourselves because playing these chords we're going to put our taste into it. We're going to use one of the T's. We're going to make this into Same notes, but played in a different position. There's a great trick to it, and we're going to look at it right now. We have the notes of G major 7, and we are going to omit this tonic note because we've learned how to play the octave on the bottom. So we're going to omit that from it, and we are going to position this major 7 down here. We're just going to take it from the top move it down to here. Look, it's this black note, first in the series of three, comes right down there. We're going to play that, and we are going to base the root of it, which is the one or the tonic of G. There's our G major seven. We've removed one of the notes from the right hand. We're playing it in the left hand, and it, to me, as far as my taste and a lot of other folks go, Sounds great. Now we're going to move to another chord in the progression, 1-4, which we'll be using a lot in music. 
Trust me on it.